California State University Northridge is a school with a history of student activism. Located in the suburbs of the San Fernando Valley in Los Angeles County and with a student population of over 35,000, it is one of the most diverse campuses in the United States. That diversity is no accident. Ethnic studies programs developed due to student and faculty demand in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. A small but passionate group of students continues this activism today. Julissa Reyes reports. Uh, yes, uh, is Chancellor Reed there? Yeah. Junior and Central American Studies major Osvaldo Ortiz was one of the student demonstrators occupying the University Administration Building at CSUN on April 13, 2011. These students were in protest of proposed budget cuts by the Cal State University Board of Trustees as well as the CSU President Charles Reed. I'm very disappointed with him and I have no faith in whatever he's doing. So if, personally, his salary is way too much what he's winning. He's not representing the students. And you can tell him that he actually, if he actually cares for us, he can come to CSUN here and talk to the students personally. Can you give that, can you give that to him, please? I'll give the message. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Almost half a million dollars a year. Right? He makes more than the President of the United States and he runs 50 states. What's up with that? Junior, Alex Hernandez, president of the activist club Students for Quality Education, explained to fellow protesters why Chancellor Reed needs to step down. You know, we're doing this because education is who we are, right? We're nothing without education. We want an education. So we're here today reclaiming this space, right? We pay our tuition. This, this is a public building. This is our building, right? So we're here today having a people's assembly. We're having a peaceful event. We're talking about the issues. We're trying to figure out how to resolve this. People are phone banking Chancellor Reed, telling him he's whack, telling him he's not uh, advocating for students. Junior and Gender and Women's Studies major Karen Medina was also at the demonstration representing Students for Quality Education. She outlined SQE's six demands for the CSU to become a more equitable system. Basically, we want Chancellor Reed to resign. We want to democratize the board of trustees. They're the ones who decide where our money gets allocated. We want a recommitment to the California Master Plan, which is pretty much saying that funding, funding for education will always be available. We want fair contracts for faculty and staff. We want funding to go to education, not administration. We want a full transparency. We want to see where our money is going. To the people. I'm Miriam Barragan, I'm a Deaf Studies major and a Psychology major, and I'm a sophomore. I'm here because I have some demands, and I'm a Navy 540 student, so it's really hard for me to pay tuition and uh, pay for books and uh, other things, because we don't get financial aid from the government. So I'm here protesting and demanding Chancellor Reed to resign, because he's the one who makes the decisions for where the money goes in education. He's definitely not for the students, and he's not representing uh, the students' needs. Raimundo Hernandez expresses himself through his artwork. He wants others to see beyond his art and listen to the message he is trying to convey. This art gallery that I have at the Chicana Chicana House at Casting Northridge is a portion of my MA thesis, which focuses on uh, undocumented students. The name of the show is Visual Rhetoric, The Struggles of Unauthorized Students in Higher Education. I consider myself an activist through my artwork. The importance of political art, it creates awareness, it educates people, and it sends out a very strong message. Freshman and kinesiology major Justeep Sethi is the vice president of the CSUN Hip Hop Think Tank. They define hip hop as breakdancing, DJing, MCing, graffiti art, and knowledge, which also includes advocating social change. Our mission and goal is to resurrect the original form of hip-hop, an urban art form that was created by the youth for the youth, as activism being its root and foundation. One example of the activism we do is uh, we teach hip-hop expression at a local group home. 
So to take this art form and really empower the youth as to not fall into negative forms of expression such as gang violence or drug trafficking. Next semester, we are holding our first annual Hip Hop Think Tank conference and we're opening up to local high schools in the Valley in Los Angeles. We'll have panel discussions. We're gonna focus on is activism through hip hop and how hip hop can be used in an academia setting to enhance people's perception on the world and society's laws and flaws. LGBTA Vice President Carly Johnson talks about the importance of the group on campus. There's been some sort of LGBT organization on this campus since about 1972. This year in particular, we had a lot of people come up to us and say, I'm gay. I didn't know there was a gay club on campus. We like to offer a social environment. We do weigh the political and the social, but what we offer is just a place to come and find like-minded people and feel safe and accepted on campus as a queer person. Students like Kathy Pacheco hope non-activist students will join their efforts to pave the way for future generations. This is the perfect time for us to come out and, and pretty much raise our voices and speak against it and fight for our university. In our history, you know that people, when people come together and speak out together, there is power in that, you know, and, and we need to realize that. And, and when we realize that and when those students realize that, that's when we're going to have real power. For Social Justice Media, I'm Julissa Reyes.